hope everyone is doing great in this video tutorial we are going to see how to download dem datasets from qjs using open topography dem downloader plugin so first let us see what's a open topography so the mission of open topography is to facilitate the community access to high resolution topographic data tools and related resources in support of research education and a broader societal application more specifically open topography aims to democratize access to high resolution geospatial data like lidar photogrammetry and dems support geoscience research by providing a platform that hosts process and distribute the topographic data provides tools and service for data visualization analysis and processing in an user friendly online environment promote education and outreach through resources and interfaces suitable for researchers students and the public by making complex data more accessible and usable open topography empowers a wide range of users from earth scientists and engineers to land managers and educators to a better understanding the earth surface process and landscapes now let us move on to qgis and here let us see how to install the open topography dem downloader plugin so move on to plugins and here you can find manage and install plugins so after clicking in you will be getting a tab like this inside that please uh, select all now please type in open topography so you can see here open topographic dem downloader now let us install the plugin so using this uh, plugin you can download following dem datasets starting from srtm 90 meter 30 meter resolution alos world 3d 30 meter resolution srtm gl gl1 ellipsoid 30 meter resolution global bathymetry data copernicus global dsm 30 meters and 90 meters nasa's dem global dem uh, europe's uh, dtm 30 meter resolution gdi l3 grid 1 kilometer and uh, geo jacob ice topographic bathymetry and uh, sub ice topographic bathymetry of 500 meter resolution these are the following data sets stem data sets which are available you can download it only thing we required the api key i'll be showing you how to get that now let us close it and let us go to the web interface here type in open topographic so you can see the link open topography.org i'll be sharing the link I'll be adding it in the description section. So this is the open topographic website. If you want to know more about this and uh, data releases, you can find here. And you can also find the data. Uh, many data are available. You can use this option, find data map. Uh, you, you can also use uh, resources. If you want to know more about open topography, you can click on here and just choose in and get to know more about the open topography and their missions. So open topography is a district distributed facility operated collaboratively by the San Diego Supercomputer Center at University of California, San Diego and the Earthscope Consortium and the School of Earth Science and Space Exploration at Arizona State University and the core operational support for the open topography comes from the Division of the Earth Science at National Science Foundation. Now let us move on to the home and you can easily uh, come to know what is open topography by clicking on here. Uh, a video will be coming up YouTube video that you can follow, follow. The surface is a so dynamic ever-changing environment sculpted by powerful geologic and human forces over time having easy. tools to study these very landmately and ensuring the safety of people who live on it now let us have a take a pass and we just go back to the process of getting the API key so that we can download the dem data sets so from the home you can find uh, request an api key so click on here so if you don't have any account you can click on create a new account here you can type in your basic informations so once you have filled in the details click on submit so after registering you will be getting an email soon so you can just check it in your email id so you'll be getting a mail like this you can click on activate your account after activating it you can just sign in now click on login now after logging in you can see the option called as get an api key so click on it 
so you can see here we can get the api key and but it is not for commercial use right so you can see here request the api key so after getting your api key you can just copy and let us move on to qgas here in order to get the dem data sets for your area of interest first thing is we are going to add a base map so that we can easily identify where our study area falls on so i'm going to use the x and y tiles and after that i'm going to use google satellite hybrid once i have loaded it you can easily move on to your area of interest so for example in this case my area of interest falls over here in this region so now in order to download the dem data sets go on to raster and here you can find the open topography plugin click on it and here you can select the type of dem data sets so in this case i required srtm 30 meter and here we are going to specify the extent if you are having a shape file or a raster layer you can calculate it from the uh, shape file or raster layer in this case i don't have any shape file so i'm going to just leave this option and i'm going to instead of that i'm going to use you can use the current map canvas extends for example current, uh, current map canvas extends means you can download it for the entire screen otherwise you can draw on a map canvas so after selecting draw on a map canvas you can choose the area of interest by using the mouse left click and drawing a box like this you can choose the area of interest once you are done it will be automatically taking in the uh, defined extent if you want to choose it once again you can use this option and once again draw on a map canvas option and you can also save it as a temporary file or you can save it to a particular location i'm going to save it as a save it to a particular location so now in the file format i'm going to prefer tiff now let us give some name for it srtm dem 30 meters resolution so after giving a name hit save click on run the process of downloading will be starting you can check in the progress down over here so you can check in the downloaded file size how much data is has downloaded you can check it and you can check in the output location also now let us click on close and now you can see the uh, dem data has been successfully downloaded for the defined extent uh, with this you can uh, do a lot of terrain analysis so just for an example you can also have a hillshade view of this dem data set symbology just for uh, example i am showing hillshade you can see how it looks like so you can also prepare contours from this you can select the contour intros and uh, you can check it let us remove the base map and you can see the contours 100 meters and 500 meter contours so like this you can perform a lot of uh, terrain analysis like a slope watershed delineation a lot more so if you are interested in that kind of videos you can just uh, post in the comment section uh, we'll be making some videos on it also terrain analysis so thanks for watching if you found this video useful please do provide your valuable comments and give us a like thank you